Hey Fingsters, Shubham here. Today let us discuss how to format a string that contains curly braces. Let us execute the program on the given screen. Now as you can see we get a key error. So what is a key error? In simple terms when you try to access a value that does not exist you get a key error. So when we execute the program the format string parser sees the opening curly braces and it thinks that the serial number is the name of a key variable and it looks to replace it with a value. Since serial number is not a key the format string parser fails to parse it and it raises a key error exception. I hope that's clear and the diagram on the screen explains that further to you. I hope you found that useful as well as funny. Now let us dive into the solutions to our problem. So let us get back to our programming screen. Now the easiest solution to this is to use double curly braces across the given string. So let us check this out in the program and check if the output matches as per our requirements. Now let's run this code and there we go. We have our solution there. Serial number as expected is within the curly braces. So we have our solution. Now let us have a look at the next method of doing this. Now the second method is pretty straightforward as well. We can simply use the modulo string formatting method to get the desired output. So let us have a look at the code. Let us remove the double curly braces. Let us use the percent operator. Let us remove the format string. And now let us pass the value to the variable x. And we are pretty much done with the program. Let me first clear out the output screen. And now let's run this program and check the output. And there we go. We have our solution again. We will now use template strings to accomplish our desired output. Template strings are used to provide string substitutions. So if you want to avoid extra curly braces, or the modulo based substitutions then you can use the template class of the string module. We will be using the substitute method of the template class to accomplish this output. The substitute method performs template based substitutions and returns a new string. Let us have a look at this in real time. So let's get back to the coding. Let me clear the screen out for you. Okay. Now let's import the template class from the string module. Now let's define the template for our string dollar open. Do not worry, I'll be explaining this to you pretty soon as we are done with the code close. Now let's use the substitute function x equals x dot substitute and open denotes opening curly braces while close denotes closing curly braces. Now let's use the print statement along with the format function dot format x comma 1 and we are pretty much done. Let's check the output and there we go. We have the desired output. Now you might be wondering what happened here. So we are using the template class to create a template. The dollar sign tells the program to replace the variable open 
with the opening curly braces. Similarly, it tells the program to replace the close variable with the closing curly braces. So, when we execute the program, we get the desired output. I hope that was clear to you. Before wrapping up, let us discuss something very important. In situations where you need to deal with complex JSON strings, the most efficient method of dealing with such scenarios is to use the JSON library in your program. Here's an example of a JSON string. So you can see that this can be quite complex. However, with the use of the JSON library, we can easily print this out. Now let us have a look at a simple code for a better understanding. So this is our code. We are importing the JSON module. Then we have a variable which holds the value admin. And then we have an ID variable which contains the value 1111. Now we define a dictionary X which holds the key value pairs of group and ID with their respective values. Now we simply print this out with the help of the dumps function. You might be thinking, what does the dumps function do? The json.dumps method is used to convert a Python object like a dictionary as in this case to a JSON string. So it simply converts the dictionary to a JSON string. Now let's check the output of this program. And there we go. We have our desired output. As you can see, we also have the curly braces in the string along with the values. That was enough for the day. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And please do not forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos. Goodbye.